Work lady. Hello, I'm Mark Goodson. The purpose of my appearance here today is to tell you about the new Price is Right, which is going to be available on your station on a one-a-week basis for early evening showing. When I say new Price is Right, I want to emphasize both the title, Price is Right, and new equally, because the program is going to have the classic base that we always had, the thing that made it successful of exciting, spectacular merchandise and price estimation. In other words, all the things that made the show a big hit over many, many years. The Price is Right is also going to be new. We've kept the central element of the fabulous prizes and the price guessing and the great the contestants and so on. We've built a whole chain of variations on the basic theme, challenging price and prize games that we believe will keep the show full of excitement, change of pace, and constant novelty. That was a show for 1972 and 1973 for the present and for the future. We also have another new and appealing ingredient for the program, our MC. It's a warm and familiar personality with a fine talent for handling people and game forms. I have worked with him many times before, and he's with me here today. He's an old friend of mine, it's Dennis James. Dennis, how are you? Thank you, Mark. I'm glad to see that coat. Thank you. Uh, I just want to start off and preface anything I say with the fact that I'm so thrilled to be doing Price is Right because I'm thrilled to be working with Goodson Todman again. I'd like to direct this to you folks because I think these gentlemen, this organization, has to be the greatest producers and creators of game shows that there ever, ever was. They are meticulous in what they do. Their staging and production values are just tremendous. And I'm thrilled to be with them because I know they're going to give me the tools and I'm going to hope to do for them and for you a good job. Uh, Price is Right, if you remember it, actually had contestants pricing out an item. For instance, they would see an item of like a television set or a coffee table or something like that. And three contestants would try to come closest to that price without going over. They could freeze at any point. But if they went over, they were out of the game. When the time was up, the one closest to that price was the winner of that item. Now, the variation on the theme is we are using that device to get them to play a game beyond that for major prizes, like trips around the world, yachts, cars. Should we show an example of two? All right. First of all, we're using a game board in this particular case, but you must remember that on the show, all of these prizes will be there, displayed, the cars, the boats, etc. So let's go with our first game. Again, a reminder, three contestants have tried to price an item one person, in this case we'll say it's you, Mark, has come closest to pricing the item and has won the opportunity to go for this 26-foot boat. The way this game works is the price of this boat, 2658, plus the price of one of these items, the Amana Freezer, RCA 21-inch color television set, Sony clock radio, or six quarts of ragu spaghetti sauce, the price of one of these items added to the price of this boat equals $3,278. If you can find which one of those items it is, you will get the car, or I mean, the, sorry, the 26-foot boat, plus the item that you have selected. Right. If, on the other hand, you pick one of these items, for whatever reason you might go for it, and you do not come up with the proper addition, you do not price it right, you'll keep the item, and that's it. All right, now, here's another variation on the theme. This one we call uh, cut price, only because they're split up. I want you to price right, first of all, the camera. Eight, mil it, eight millimeter movie it's camera. It's an eight millimeter movie camera. Is it a 79 or is it 97? I'm going to take a shot at 97. You're taking a shot at 97, all right. You're absolutely right. Now, you own yourself the eight millimeter movie camera. Mm -hmm. You may take it and you may leave. Mm -hmm. Or you may elect to go on and try to get yourself the RCA 21-inch color television set with one proviso. If you do not price it right, you lose what you already have. I got so it. So on up the ladder. Okay, is it 495? Is it 945? Is it 594? What combination is it? Let's start off with the five. Okay, five. Now it's a question of is it 49 or 94? Yes, that is the question. Mm. <laughs> to be or not to be. I'm gonna be back with the ragu spaghetti sauce. All right, let's put the nine on the other side of the four. All right. Now, is that your final decision? That's my final decision. You figure the price is right. That's right. And you are absolutely 
right. Very Price good. is right. All right, now you own the 8mm camera, the color television set. You may take those and bid us bye-bye or go on for the Ford Mustang. I lost the boat. I want to get the car. You're going for it? Yes, sir. Okay. Now, there are your figures. How do you want to put them around? Is it 7 or 3 or 5 and a 2? Well, the 7's wrong, so put seven that on. 7 is wrong. Put down your temporary. Let's begin with a 2. Begin with a 2. Let's put... That looks pretty good. Let's try to... I, I didn't the... mean to lead you in any way. I was just putting it back... Let's position. shift the 7 and 5 around. Okay. That sounds like a price to me. I'll stick with that. That's three seven five. That's right. All right. All America wants to know is the price right? And by George, it is. So you've won yourself the movie camera, the color television set, and the Mustang. Go sit in it. <laughs> Thanks very much, Dennis. <laughs> all right. I think that gives you some idea of just a few of the basic elements, and there are many, many hundreds of them. But you mentioned one very cute one. I think we should talk yes, about. Yes. This this is uh, I think one that has a lot of human interest. I'm particularly interested in this because I have um, a little child, and this would involve children in their bidding. We would first of all sh have two mothers come up and show them that that uh, that the final prize would be an entire kitchen, so it's really worthwhile. Then we'd have their two children, who'd be six, seven, or eight, but equal ages, bid for five items. And as an example of how children will actually bid, I'll tell you what happened with my child because I tried this device out on her. She's seven, and I said, now I took out a quart of milk, and I said, now what is the price of that quart of milk? And she said, well, that's. That's five dollars. I said, okay. Uh, how about a mink wrap? She said, well, that's um, fifty dollars. And I said, well, now how about my car? And the car is a Mercedes uh, 600, the biggest Mercedes car. She said, well, that's very expensive, Daddy. So that would be a hundred and fifty dollars. And we'd have the two kids compete in this uh, business of bidding, and the one that would come the closest on the majority of items would win for her mother the uh, whole kitchen. Finally, as to Dennis himself, the proof of the pudding, of course, is in the eating, and I would like you to see Dennis actually at work. It so happens that we have a segment of a piece of a show called Let's Make a Deal. I'm sure you've heard of that program. Monty Hall was not able to make uh, a show, and on a couple of hours' notice, Dennis uh, stepped in for him and did, I think, a very, very good job. And we can see Dennis now working with contestants, with big prizes, and actually this ingredient is concerned with pricing itself. Something which I think they borrowed from The Price is Right. Let's take a look at it. Here we go, Jay. Are you ready to go again? All right. Now, I'm, I'm looking for a married couple to put some items in a very proper order. Married couples? Married couples? You two aren't married? You two, you two married? Stand up. Mary Royer. And you must be Mr. Royer. That's right. Ken, yeah, yeah. how many children do you have, Ken? We have no children. No children. How long have you been married? Nine and a half years. What you been doing? <laughs> <laughs> Ken and Mary. I want to ask you a question about Ken, Mary. Is he an orderly man? Is he, does he put the tooth cap back on the toothpaste? No. no. Oh, yes, he does that. <laughs> what did you say no first? What did you think I was going to say about the toothpaste? Does he uh, roll it up from the end? No. He doesn't. Just squeezes over. it from the top. Yeah. How about drawers? Does he close the drawers? Now and then. Did he put his socks away orderly in the hamper or wherever you put your socks? On the floor. On the floor. Because right. this thing has to be orderly, the thing I'm going to do. If you prove to be an orderly couple, you'll soon have this in your garage. Come here. There it is. Features your body construction and torsion bar suspension. Plymouth coming through with the kind of car America wants. With tax and license, it sells for three thousand six hundred fourteen dollars and eighty-nine cents. Oh dear! All right, now I said if you prove to be orderly, you can have that in your garage. You don't have it yet. If you know your prices, that car can be yours. Now here's the deal. You will notice down there on the floor five items on the table on the display floor. Jay will tell you about each item, and I want you to listen very carefully because to earn that car, you must line up those items from least to most expensive. Okay, Jay? Right. First of all, for sound on wheels for Motorola, this compact MST8 8-track car tape player with big sound and racing stripe. Next, from General Electric, an upright vacuum cleaner. It's part of the power pack from General Electric. Then a 10-pound raft hickory smoked ham that looks as good on the outside as it tastes on the inside. 
And now from Sears, a powerful 12-speed table mixer grinder. The right speed for chopping or mixing is right on the mixer. The latest countertop appliances at Sears Counter Evolution. And finally, this ladies' beauty case, Samsonite Fashion Air luggage with classic styling. Sturdy as a treasure chest. Fly, Samsonite. All right, now they're really working hard here, figuring it out. All you have to do is line up the items from least expensive to most expensive. If you put them in the right order, that car will be yours. And remember, as always, we're talking about the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Tell you what you do, even though you studied them, go down on the floor, look them over very, very carefully, study them as hard as you want, while the folks at home have this to study, and then we'll be right back. All right, Mr. and Mrs. Roy, I'd like to say a few words about Texas here. Or do you want to go on and play? <laughs> Where are you from? I never found out. California. From California. Where in California? Uh, Strathmore. Strathmore. Never heard of it. And I'm here 10 years now. San Joaquin Valley. Farming community. You'd, you'd like to talk just chit-chat, you know? Do <laughs> no. you want to go for the car? Can or not? <laughs> All right. Now, you've had time to look them over, right? Then, yeah. Let's give the folks at home another chance to look at them. From the least expensive, remember, to the most expensive. There's, first of all, this is not the order. I'm just showing it to the folks at home. The car stereo, the vacuum cleaner, the ham, the mixer grinder, and the case. All right. Now line them up, least to most expensive, and that car will be yours. Who's going to be spokesman? You can just... Ken? Will, yeah. uh, what are you saying first, Ken, baby? <laughs> the ham. He says the ham. Let's see the ham. 1075, that looks pretty good. I'll tell you what I'll do with you. It may not be pretty good. It may be something less than that. If there is, you'll be out. So do you want to quit right now? I'll give you a hundred bucks. That's more than you came with. No. No? no. no. You want to go on? All right. No. Have a pick. The Samsonite. The Samsonite? That's got to be more now. Everybody's groaning. Let's see. The Samsonite. That looks like a pretty good jump. Now you're getting a little worried. I'm not saying that is too big a jump. I'll tell you what I'll do with you, Ken. And Mrs. Roy, you're looking well. I'll give you $200 to quit right now. What are you going to do? What do you think they should do, audience? I hear some saying quit, some say go. What are you going to do? Let's go. Now, all of a sudden, he doesn't make up his mind anymore. She does. What are you saying, Aunt Mary? Shall we try? Let's go. I'm going to try and go on again. All right, the next one has to be higher than $4,300. I mean, $4,300. Are you ready? Okay, go. The mixer grinder. The mixer grinder must be more than 43. And it's 54. <laughs> well, now, I feel philanthropic, like Marty Hall is philanthropic. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll give you $300 right now to quit. You know, this is very interesting. You've convinced all of these people that you've made the right move. But before, when the 43 came up, they went, oh. Are you going on or you want $300 from me? You're going on. All right, go. Uh, the vacuum cleaner. The vacuum cleaner must be more than $54.95. Carol, is it? No. <laughs> all right, so you had four of them there. Let's see what the auto stereo was, Carol. $59.95. Do you feel badly? That's all right. You know, you, know, you do feel badly. I'll tell you what I'm going to do with you. Since Monty isn't here and he's not looking in, I'm going to give you everything on the table. Oh! It's worth $216. Okay? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Mary? Being an ex-actor, being an ex-actor, I just got your nose in my eye. <laughs> Because I was trying to give you the downstage <laughs> microphone and, and camera, see? Uh -huh. And I maneuvered and you blinded me. Uh -huh. Take a good Thank you very much. You've seen Dennis. You've heard about our plans. And we at Goodson Todman and our associates at Viacom are convinced that the new Price is Right is a certain hit entry for the early evening time on your station. <laughs>